Hi, I'm Shayan. Welcome to this tutorial video. In this part, we're going to learn how to unwrap objects in Rhino. If you're wondering what unwrapping means in 3D software, check out the link I've shared in the description. Alright, let's get started. Before we start unwrapping these two objects, I want to show you how the UV map of each object looks before unwrapping and how the texture placement will appear as a result. For example, I select this object, type UV Editor, and press Enter. As you can see, the UV map looks like this. Keep in mind that to see the texture and how it is placed on an object, you just need to click on Use Texture in the Texture section of the UV Editor window. By default, the UV Grid Texture is selected. If the squares are too large for the object you're working on, you can right-click in the panel area, check textures, and a texture window will appear. You can access it, select the UV grid, and increase the repeat value in the UV mapping section. Once you've done this, close and reopen the UV editor window to see the changes. As you can see, the squares have become smaller, meaning the texture is repeated more frequently. As you can see, the texture appears distorted on the object because we haven't unwrapped it yet. So, let's unwrap it and check the result again. Use the unwrap command, select the object, and keep the mapping channel as one for now. Now, as you can see in the command line, it says select seams, so we need to select all the edges required for unwrapping. For example, I want to select the edges around this object. There's no need to select each edge individually, I can double click on one edge to select all connected edges. I do this on one side and also select the inner edges. For the other side, I select both the outer and inner edges. Additionally, two more edges need to be selected, one here and the other one here. Finally, I press Enter. Now, I select the object again and enter the UV editor. As you can see, the UV map and the texture placement on the object have changed. When you select any area in the UV map, the corresponding part of the object will also be selected in the modeling environment. If you modify the UV map, you will also see the change in texture placement on the object. In this case, we don't want to make significant changes to the UV map. All we need to do is rotate the areas so they align similarly with each other. After finishing this step in the UV editor, we can close it. Now, we repeat the same steps for the other object. First, use the unwrap command and press enter. We keep the mapping channel unchanged and press enter again. Now, we need to select the edges for unwrapping. By double clicking on the edges, all connected edges will be selected. The top surface of the object is continuous and has no visible seams, so we need to select one bottom edge for unwrapping. I select this bottom edge and press Enter. Now, I select the object and enter the UV editor to see the changes. This is the top surface, which becomes evident when selected. These two areas on the sides and the two strips represent the side strips of the object. Similar to the previous object, the only adjustment needed is to rotate the UV islands so they align similarly. Finally, I close the UV editor window. An important point to note is that when exporting objects to rendering software like D5, 
twin motion, or lumion, separate materials should be assigned to the objects to ensure they are recognized as separate objects. Otherwise, a single material will be applied to all objects. To assign materials in Rhino, go to the Materials panel and create a new material. I create a plastic material, select the object, right-click on the material, and choose Assign to Object. I repeat the same process for the other object by creating a new material, selecting the object, right-clicking the new material, and choosing Assign to Object. I change the colors of the materials so you can clearly see the difference between the objects. Now, I switch to rendered mode, and you can see that each object has its own material. In future videos, we will render the objects using D5. To export the modeled objects, go to File and select Export Selected. Then, choose the objects and press Enter. Make sure to select the export type as FBX. In the Export Settings window, click Mesh only and press OK twice. The important point here is that D5 can import both .3DM, Rhino file type, and .fbx files. However, if you import a .3DM file into D5, the UV map won't be imported correctly. But if you import an .fbx file, the UV map will be imported successfully. This concludes this part of the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.